Hi, I'm Dr. Kelly Brogan, and today I'd like to talk about the origins of a healthy gut. So if we are to acknowledge that we are more bacterial than human cells by a factor of 10 to 1, and that these and other microbes, collectively referred to as the microbiome, regulate inflammatory, immune, and brain function, in addition to metabolizing and synthesizing nutrients and detoxifying chemicals, then we must appreciate the role of natural birth in the establishment of this inner ecosystem. The medicalization of pregnancy and birth is often not supported by evidence and contributes to an incidence of neonatal and maternal mortality in addition to pediatric and adult chronic disease. And it is my belief that the misogynistic, fear-driven practice of hospital-based obstetrics robs women of a transformative and primal experience in addition to interfering with mother-baby communication, including that of microbes. A recent study found an increased incidence of allergy and asthma in babies born vaginally in the hospital relative to those born at home, potentially mediated by colonization with a pathogenic bacteria called Clostridium difficile and relative decreases in beneficial bacteria. They also corroborated a previous finding that cesarean babies are born preferentially colonized by non-maternal skin flora instead of the gastrointestinal bacteria of their mother. And these differences between hospital and home microbiomes may be related to interventions such as the use of intrapartum antibiotics for group B strep, a non-evidence-based practice according to the Cochrane database which may contribute deleterious influences to the transfer of flora from mother to baby. It may also be related to the hospital microbiome itself, where the use of bleach, sterilization, and sanitizers may foster the growth of pathogens through the suppression of beneficial bacteria. As we enter this post-genomic era and the microbiome takes center stage, we must look at pregnancy, birth, and breastfeeding as the product of millions of years of evolution and protect them for the health of future generations. So thank you for listening.